we're going to take a look today at uh, Pactware and adding instruments to, to the catalogue. When you install Pactware, it's a relatively small program and it doesn't come with a you know a, a huge library of devices. So you, you may have to, to put these in as and when you need them. I've made a start on, on my library, so to have a look at your library you can click on this icon here and, and you can see here all of the devices that I have installed. So um, Vega was relatively easy to be honest, I just downloaded a catalogue with all the Vega stuff in and, and, and it uh, pulled it all in. Most manufacturers have a straightforward DTM so you get like a, an EXE um, file that you click on and it installs the device into your catalogue and then you have to update the catalogue to bring it into your projects. Siemens is slightly different. What they have done, which is quite clever because you get the same functionality across different you know, types of tools like P Somatic PDM and Packware, is they've created an EDD converter um, and that is called Citrans DTM and it can be quite difficult to find. So I've gone to the support website, so support.industry.siemens.com, look for go home, product support, and then find in Citrans DTM. You can type it in here. So when you type in Citrans DTM, um, I always, out of habit, click downloads. Now this is where it gets confusing, even for me, because there's different versions of Citrans DTM you can see here. Citrans DTM 3.1, Citrans DTM version 4.1, 4.2, 4.3. If I click on one of these, it normally tells you the products that this DTM supports. So you can see here the, the, the products that it supports. And, it, and some older devices might need the older versions of Citrans DTM installed in 2.1 and 3.1. So you can see here, go to the latest version, which is 4.3 at this, this point. Um, so there's the list of Siemens or Citrans devices that are supported by this DTM. But my advice is you, you would also need to install these two. And it's actually telling you. So if I click on, on this one, so this, this is one of the very first ones. Um, it's not really telling me what instruments this one supports so you can start to see the confusion unfortunately Siemens used to work for you the website here is a little bit confusing when it comes to Citrans DTMs so you're going to need to install this first so download it and it sort of sticks in the background so you need to be registered here so you can see you need to log into your support so we've already created a video on how to do that but um, at this point you would need to register. These files come under the uh, export restrictions, so you have to agree. Click, click Next. Um, it, here, if you're sending it somewhere else, you will need to declare that, but this is just for, for my um, uh, use. When you click Yes here, because I'm the recipient, I'm the final customer, that, that, that last box goes, and then you confirm that you're happy with that. So these are the export checks that you, you must adhere to. So it's like an electronic signature. You're saying I'm not going to export that to countries that are on blacklists or anything. So that's important. Continue to the download. This is the file that we've downloaded. It's, you know, it's a one-time install. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got this version. I'll just run through it anyway and see what it says. So obviously Windows isn't happy with with, with it because it's an MSI file but I'll run it anyway and the setup is, is relatively easy and you can see because I've got it on here it's asking me to repair so I'm going to click cancel but the first time you would install it you wouldn't you wouldn't have that on so once you've got that if you can remember this list of instruments this is what it supports so finding the in individual DTMs can again be a little bit of a challenge but I find the easiest way, go to your product support and I noticed that the, the DS3 or the new pressure transmitter was on there so let's type in Citrans P320 okay 
Now, again, you can put all your downloads in here, so you, you're not you're not get everything. And you can see here P320 Heart version 7 DTM. Okay, so we will download that. So here on my desktop, this is the the zip file that's been downloaded. So I'll just take this out, plunk that on my desktop, and and this is the the install file. Now this is where I think maybe PDM, Smatic PDM has the edge because it uses a device catalog tool to import the EDDs, and you don't need admin rights for that. What I've found with installing the DTMs, because they're a self-contained install file, you need admin privileges. And if I come over here, look, I'm getting this message again. I wouldn't have this with the PDM device library manager. But you do need to have admin privileges. That's really important. We select our language. And, and then now we're into the, the install shield. You have to accept the agreement. I'm not really bothered where it installs it, I'm letting it install it in its um, uh, default location and then finish. Now this next bit is the bit that catches everybody out. So when you've, I'm going to close down Packware completely, um, open it up and if I try to build a project, um, I Normally I struggle. Now I'm going to look like an idiot now if they've upgraded it and they've changed the functionality. But let, let's go through this. So I haven't actually physically got this device connected. So um, we'll add a device. We'll put Heart Communicator in first. And then we will um, add a device. And then I'll try and find my P320 that I've just installed. So I'll, let's do Citrans first. Okay, so I've only got the Citrans level device, even though I've just installed the DTM. So where is it? And this is, like I say, this is the bit that catches everybody out. You have to go back to your catalog and open up the catalog. And then you will probably, let's see if it does it. Um, we'll, we'll type in Citrans again up here. And I've still got the radar, but if I click now on this update device catalogue, it's going to pull all of the devices that I've installed via the, the DTM install file into my catalogue. So now if I try and install my device, Type in Citrans again, and you can see there now my pressure device is in my catalogue. Um, I can't connect to it, you know, so um, you know there's not much I can do here uh, to to see the device live, but I can see the the menu structure. I can't go on and see all the, the you know the nice jazzy quick start wizards because I'm physically not connected to the device. So that's it, um, importing a device into Packware, just be careful, when it's a Siemens device we need to install Citrans DTM, if it's um, uh, you know, a standard DTM, you know, and Vega are pretty good at this, they don't do this conversion in the background, you, could, you just have a, a standard DTM in, in, in installed, then you don't need that. So you only need Citrans DTM for Siemens Citrans instruments. Okay, So I hope that was useful. Thanks for listening as per usual. And um, please you know, tell your friends and colleagues about this channel. And I hope to see you again soon.